you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Oh, Sorry to keep you waiting. Babe. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Ah! Hello, YouTube. JD and Drop here. Oh, you're going to do this again. Wait for the program. Uh, part four, you got a little dust on you. Part four of the Stanley Parable. Um, if you haven't seen part one, two, or three, go check those out. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And let's get into this. This is the story of a man named Stanley. If you want to see the the intros, um. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. If you want to see the intros, up. Oh. Want to see the intro? Go check out episode one or two. Got him in there. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Not really. Eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I did not. I mean, Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Mm -hmm. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Maybe. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Okay. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you Beam. all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Who's her? So it's standing. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into <laughs> your life. She's been waiting. She has? Is this my wife? Ho oh, oh, ho, whoa. That's her, Who? You need to be the one to do this. I to want to reach do out it. to her. I thought good. If you can truly place yeah. your faith in What? It's like breaking up with a girl. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it, man. I'm just going to ignore her. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Oh, Sorry to keep you waiting. Wait. I'm just pouring the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Ah! Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Yes, it makes me red. Life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. No, thank you. Sorry. Whoa. You're in my story now. Whoa. Um... I'm in your story. We'll see about that. This is a very yeah. sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh, well, you're a bitch. Good morning. Press B on your keyboard. Not gonna do it. It's my story. Is that 8 or B? I don't know. I don't care. I'm not gonna press it. 11 minutes later. Fine. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Oh, I'm gonna <coughs> you up. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. So I forgot One my might keys. even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Elf for loser. But in his mind, ah, 
In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. And that's where you From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh, and so he began to fantasize yeah. about Whiskey his tea. own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Bits. The thought excited him terribly. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Where? And down another was a game with a baby. And he called uh, it baby the game. Stanley Parable. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel Get this me the fuck out of here. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. <sighs> oh, for fuck but you. There is no answer. No. Nope. How could there possibly be? I was gonna sit up In my reality, desk. all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. There's my damn clock, same changed. time. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Good night. And I'm trying to tell him this. But in this you. world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Norsville. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm not listening to you. I'm going to do it. See? You see? Yeah, bitch. Can he just not hear me? Yeah, of course How can I can tell you. him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? Maybe How I can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Give me a mirror. I'm questioning nothing. I suppose nothing. I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. The baby. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. So and die. Stanley pushed a button. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That was the wife ending, guys. Um, pretty creepy. Uh, a little boring, but I'm sure we can find another fun one to do. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button at the end of the video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.